I am still on the left hand wing and I wanted to show you um, the stitching of panels A and B to the wing bone because they're different. If you continue on with your pattern of, of um, you know, one, one stitch to two ladder rungs, you're going to get a wing that's like stretched like this. If you cut it down to one stitch for a one ladder rung, you're going to get scrunched up. So you kind of have to go in between. And, and what I found works best is do one with two ladder rungs and one with one ladder rung. And you know, kind of split the difference. And that makes it a little more even. So again, what I'm doing is just, and that's just on panels A and B to the, um, the wing backbone. So I did a single there. I'm going to do a double here. And then the next one. Oh, it's tricky finding that. There it is. And then the next one is going to be a single. You can always tell your, your rows, you know, your stitches, because you, you've got this nice V, and the, and the V is pointing up. That's how you know it's the right one. Okay, I did two there, so I did one, do one here. Other than that, it's uh, pretty much the same all the way to the end. Um, you're going to end up with probably that much of the, hopefully, that, that much of the um, pipe cleaner. You, you're going to need about that much in order to attach it to the body. Um, you're probably going to lose about 10 stitches when you get to the, to the end here. You're probably going to have to drop off 10. And, you know, I've been meaning to, I've been thinking about changing the, the pattern, but it hasn't been consistent enough until just recently. So don't be surprised if you have to take off a chunk.